welcome or welcome back to 4F Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? Your guess is as good as mine. But it's currently quarter to midnight, so I thought this would be a great time to do some filming. I picked up this Glam Glow um, Gravity Mud. It's one of their limited edition ones they did in Power Rangers. Rita Repulsa. The green one, basically. So, I thought I'd give it a go and see what it's like. Um, it was half price on Debenhams. I don't think they've got any left. I'm really sorry. I think I got one of the last ones. Um, Glam Glow is quite expensive for what it is, so I want to see whether this gravity mask will do any better than my current masks do. Apparently it's going to firm, lift, tight, tone, sexy contours. Apparently. Uh, gravity Mud Firming Treatment is an out-of-this-world instant tightening and toning treatment. The innovative formula peels off to leave skin feeling tighter and more lifted. Mega-targeted ingredients work together to help skin's contours feel firmer and look more defined. Gravity Mud will give you a super sexy skin in an instant. Good lord. Uh, shake and squeeze to mix before you. Supply generous even low to clean skin, avoiding eyebrows and hairline. Okie dokie. Leave on for 20 to 30 minutes. Once completely dry, gently peel from edges. Rinse excess. Uh, use twice a week. Before, uh, right, okay. Clear as gravity mud. Right, I'm going to pause you um, because if I zoom you in a minute, as you can see, even though it's been quite a hot day, <laughs> my makeup has actually survived the whole day which is pretty damn impressive because according to the thermometer in my car earlier we hit 30 degrees which might not sound much to some of you but for us here in the UK that's a heat wave and it's only May um, if you're wondering which foundation is that has managed to last this long it is this one my Lancome Tint Adol I haven't done a wear test on this yet it is on my list to get round to, I promise. Um, the eyes are Jeffrey's blood sugar. The um, the liner today is um, 17 high drama, which makes me even more annoyed that they're actually getting rid of the 17 range because all of their liners so far have been blooming fab. Um, and the mascara is actually Benefits Bad Gal Bang. But I finally managed to pick up one. Right. So as you can see, I've got quite a bit of heavy makeup to take off. So I'm going to pause you because if you've watched my evening skincare regime video, you will see how I take all this off anyway. So I will come back with completely clean skin, ready to get power rangered. Don't go anywhere now. And I'm back, as you can see fresh faced. I used my usual Avon eye makeup remover, face wipes and then Garnier micellar water but obviously I have not put any creams on my skin as yet. I've got a silicon brushy thing. Let's break into this and see what it's like. Oh, you get a you get a sample of the, the one that's just chrome coloured, uh, and there is the Rita Repulsa tube. Right now, what do it say? Shake and squeeze to mix. Uh, I'm shaking and I'm squeezing. Ooh. Shaking and I'm shaking. You watch me smack myself in the face now. And I'm squeezing. What do you reckon to be that's enough? Yeah. Oh, look at that. I 
do like a nice safety seal on these things. And as I've currently got new nails, how pretty are these? Really summery. It's nice and easy to get the pull tab. Right. And that rather unhelpfully has left like a skin behind. So we'll just oop, stab it with the end of a brush basically. And it's stabbed through remarkably easily. Doesn't really well, let's have a squeeze, shall we? Like a slug, look at that. It has got a smell, but I'm just trying to work out what it is. It feels lovely and cooling going on, and it hasn't been in the fridge or anything, it's literally just been stood with all my makeup waiting for me to actually get around to filming this. Definitely smells of something, and I'm trying to work out what it is. It's um, it's quite fruity actually, almost, almost florally fruity. Um, I'm being very careful not to go near my hair, and I've still managed to catch it. Look at that. Oh, that's gonna hurt later. For this on, if it's a peel off, that it's not gonna split when you peel it, but not so thick that it doesn't actually dry down. So let's see. It's going on nicely. Um, there's no tingling or anything. Uh, I have had some face masks that you get to this stage and you can really feel it. Oh god, now I've just caught my eyebrow. Oh no, no, I think I managed to avoid it. Just. My eyebrows are only just coming back from the overplucking of the 90s. The last thing I want is to start ripping them out with face masks. Ah. Starting to resemble either the Incredible Hulk's illegitimate girlfriend, or uh, if any of you are watching this, who are old enough and UK based to remember Grot Bags, remember her? She used to be the Green Witch that used to be on uh, ITV. Started off with Emu and then got our own show. Of course, Emu was just a stuffed toy with a man's hand up his bum. But there we go. We watched some strange stuff in the eighties. So, how's your day been today? Good, I hope. Mine's been pretty good. I mean, apart from it getting way too hot for my liking today. I got my nails done, which is always nice. It's always nice and relaxing. I'm lucky that um, my friend does nails because there's no way that a nail salon would put up with me, basically. Because where I've, you know, I can't sit still for long. I have to keep getting up and wriggling around and moving, and otherwise my back locks up. But Sophie's so good about that, she just blocks the day out for me. And says, oh, don't worry about it. You know, if you need to stretch, you need to stretch. Probably takes her six times as long to get mine done, bless her, as it does anybody else's. Got a 
bit on my lips, I'll take that off and just stick that down there for a minute. This is actually feeling really quite nice. Um, apparently these um, Power Ranger ones, they did, I think they did the red one and the green one. Or was it the yellow one and the green one? I'm not sure. But apparently this green one just didn't sell very well. And that's why it's, um, it was half price because Debenhams were wanting to get rid of the stock I guess. I'm not going to complain though. I'm quite concerned at how much of this tube I'm having to use though just to cover my face. That little sachet is not going to go very far is it? So I've either got a really big face or <gasps> I'm putting on way too much. It's probably a bit of both to be honest. Because obviously the brush isn't soaking any of it up because it's silicon. So that I think I've got about the right thickness all over then. Oh dear. As so long as this doesn't hurt as much as the blooming black charcoal mask did to peel off. Those were horrific. Have you done one of those yet? Right, I think that's quite enough for one session. <laughs> right, I'll pop this back in its little box. I'm going to use a face wipe to clean my silicon thingy off with. And um, I'll be back in about half an hour. You're not going to have to wait that long though, because I'm going to pause you. So. Don't go anywhere, just, um, yeah, I'll see you after this uh, wibbly wobbly bit. Hey, and welcome back, and yes I am talking a little bit weird because this has definitely tightened up, as it has said. It's so shiny, look how shiny it is though. When it sets, let's see if I can use my phone camera just to... But see how reflective that is? So, yeah. <laughs> now the fun bit. Try and take this off. Um, there we go. It looks like it's lifting a little bit there. I'm not going to get it all up in one go, but look at that. It's actually coming off quite well. Um, let's zoom even a little bit just so you can see this. Although it looks like it's tugging on my skin. It's really not hurting at all. It's just 
so weird. Anyway. Whoa. Obviously there's a few little bits left on here. So I'm gonna go and rinse my face off like it said and I'll be straight back. And here I am. Back again with my my little pile of um green face mask. And freshly face mask skin. I don't know whether I'd say it makes my skin feel tighter. Um, it does feel nice though. Um, and I had a, a dry patch just here, which it seems to have dealt with quite well actually. So. I'm going to finish the night off by putting on some of my usual nighttime moisturiser, which actually smells like another Glam Glow product. It smells like their Vulcanizer cream. And in terms of how it reacts on my skin at least it is the same as the 50 quid a pot Glam Glow Cream whereas this is 15 pound a tube which is much more purse friendly and yes I carry it down my neck and onto my decolletage because ladies, none of us, none of us want a crinkly decolletage now, do we? If it looks like we need to iron before we go out, it's time to put the high neck top on. So, because I quite like my cleavage on display when I go out, I make sure to continue the moisturiser all the way down. So, that is me just about sorted. I'm going to have a nice big glass of water and I'm going to go to bed. So I hope you found this fun, interesting. Um, do I recommend it? If you can pick it up at a price that you're happy with, then yes, it was a lot of fun. It really was. Is it radically different to any other peel-off mask that I've used? Uh, doesn't seem it yet. Uh, there's probably enough in there for me to do another two maybe three more face masks so um, if, if I suddenly feel that it is earth shatteringly wonderful I will come back and put an update in the description box but for the meantime is it nice yes would I pay full price for it no <laughs> all right then um, have a fab rest of your day and I will see you all again soon Bye for now.